Hey everybody, coming to you live here on Facebook uh, today to talk about new product release we have. So uh, we're releasing a new V-Band in and out housing. It's going to be the 1.05 AR. So this will be the THV5S. Uh, this housing only comes in stainless steel. So 310 uh, investment cast stainless steel only. It's going to be available for the 62, 66, and the 70 turbine wheels. So what that means is a 5862, <clears throat> 6262, 6266, 64, 67, and the 6870. They'll all be available with this turbine housing. Uh, it's going to be just like the rest of our stainless steel housings as far as you know the upcharge, um, you know prices from retail. You can buy the housing individually right now as well. Um, so they are in stock, ready to go. Uh, retail for about 450. So, uh, we'll talk about uh, a couple little things with it. Um, they will go on existing Gen 1 or Gen 2 units, so that's not an issue. Some of you guys that have a little bit older turbos that want to upgrade, um, you can put the housing right on. Uh, when it comes to 6870, just want to make sure that we're a little clear with this. This is a T3 size, if you will, V-band in and out. So it's a direct replacement for the 64 AR V-band in and out or the 82 V-band in and out. It is different from the larger 81 or 96 AR that comes on the 6870. So this would be smaller. So uh, perfect for all you guys that are running, let's say, like Subarus or Evo Xs. You've already got a V-band in and out kit. You want to go to a larger turbo. Well, this will allow you to do it. So, uh, you can put that 6870 on that Subaru now, you know, with uh, your V-Band in and out kit. So, it's pretty much uh, about it for the actual housing itself. Um, like I said, they're in production. We already have them in stock, ready to go. So, you can call Precision directly, call any one of your dealers, ask them for pricing, and they can get it for you. So, we have... Uh, Anybody on there that's got any questions about it? None over here. None over there? Nope. So we're uh, we're coming, what, live on Facebook and Instagram? Correct. Okay, so both places. So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, yeah so there's a, lot of, uh, a lot of people have been anticipating it, asking for it, waiting for it. So it is uh, it's finally here. It's ready to go. Um, it's going to use, like I said, the exact same inlet and discharge flanges as all the THV2 and the THV6, whether you have an existing cast iron or stainless steel V-band housing. Same flanges, same clamps. Kind of reiterate, it is a 1.05 AR, so it is quite a bit larger than the ARs we had existing. Um, I know we've, uh, we've had it already it's been tested, um, worked out really good. Uh, twin turbo application, it works good on like 6870s on a GTR, for instance. Um, we got some guys 64, 66, you know, single turbo application on a Subaru. So it's uh, really kind of opens it up. Uh, also, for you guys that are running, let's say, Hellion turbo kits with V band in and outs. Um, before you're a little bit power limited, when you start getting those higher horsepower levels, now you can step up to a bigger housing, free flow the exhaust, push it a little bit harder, a little bit higher. I have questions. Uh, Kenny Graham says, I have a 6262 CEA dual ceramic ball bearing turbo, so this would work then? Correct. Yep, 6262, you would just, you'd order the, the housing, it would be a THV5. S, and then the part number for you would be a dash six two. So the THV five S is the part number for the housing, followed by a dash, and then either a sixty two, a sixty six, or a seventy, depending on what exhaust wheel you have. Alberto oh. says, "Can we use with different size sixty two sixty six and sixty four sixty six?" Yeah, so it's the same exact housing. So both those turbos, a 6266 and a 6466, use the same turbine wheel. So you can use the same housing on both turbos. So if you wanted to 
put it on a dyno and test multiple turbos that all had, you know, same size turbo wheel, you could use the same housing. Okay, I have a question. Chino underscore V, I'm sorry, 8. Um, so 6870 with a T3V band is possible? That is correct. Okay. So you can do a 6870 V band in and out um, in the smaller T3, you know, sized V band versus the larger T4 one that we had previously. Okay, one more question. Does that turbo work for a S2K? So obviously every turbo is going to need to be spec'd for your application. Uh, that being said, I mean, us, you know, we run 64s, 66s, and you know, uh, even the 62, 66 guys run them all the time on S2Ks with the V-band in and out 82 housing. So 105 housing obviously would work. It's going to depend on your horsepower goals and where you want to actually make that power at. And I have one more question. Will it blow up my stock 2010 WRX? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, <laughs> so, obviously most of the turbos that are going to utilize this housing are probably going to produce more power than a stock WRX motor is going to be able to handle. Is it new? It is a brand new housing, yeah. It just came to market. One more before we end. Paul Shears, what about the 6062? Will this make the orientation of the turbo a lot easier for installs? So it will fit on the 6062 just like, you know, any of the 62 wheel turbine, uh, turbine wheels, sorry. Um, as far as orientation, I mean, it's just, it, that's all about packaging and how you set everything up. I will say, yes, typically V-band in and out housings are a little easier to build piping for because of the V-band, you can move stuff around in all different angles, a little better than having to try to play with a T3 or T4 flange. Uh, what about a 6266 journal bearing? Yes. So they'll fit on any of the CEA models that use a 62 wheel, a 66 wheel, or a 70 wheel, regardless if it's a Gen 1 or Gen 2, and regardless if it's journal bearing or ball bearing. Someone's asking, will it work for a 5858 CEA? No. So unfortunately, this housing is too big to put on that small of a turbo. Most likely, somebody run that small of a turbo, um, they probably need to be in a little bit larger turbo rather than a larger turbine housing. Uh, we don't want to, you know, worry about overspinning wheels and stuff, so. And what kind of power is capable, is it capable of producing? So all the horsepower capabilities are all going to still stay the same for the turbo. So if it's a 6466 that's rated 900 horsepower, it's still going to be rated 900 horsepower. So the compressor wheel is only going to be able to flow so much. What this is going to allow you to do is if you are, say, 2 to 1 back pressure with an 82 housing and you've fallen shy of your power, you've only made 700 horse, you can then utilize the larger housing, freeze up the flow, and now you can try to reach that 900 horse capability. And... One more time, what is the size of the housing? So it's a 1.05, or referred to as a 105 AR. And I think I'm good. Yeah, we're good. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. We'll uh, see you next time when we go live.